Welcome to Fast Philosophy. This video is part of our Introduction to Logic series and explains what inductive force and inductive soundness is. As I've explained in a previous video, there are two kinds of argument in logic, deductive arguments and inductive arguments. Now that I've explained deductive arguments, I can explain inductive arguments. Inductive arguments rely on the principle of induction. This principle states that if we've observed lots of instances of something behaving in a certain way, then we can say that in a particular instance it will behave in a like manner. In brief, the principle of induction says what's happened in the past will continue to happen in the future. An argument is inductively forceful when its premises give us good reason to think that the conclusion derives from it. An argument may be inductively forceful even if neither its premises nor its conclusion are true. Inductive force is concerned with the probability that its conclusion is a consequence of the premises rather than the truth of the propositions involved. For example, the argument is inductively forceful even though its conclusion may not be true, like this example. Every bird I've ever seen can fly. The bird that I'm pointing at can fly. Now, clearly the conclusion of this argument may be false, as there are many examples of non-flying birds, penguins, ostriches, emu, dodo, but truth doesn't matter to inductive force. This argument is inductively forceful because it assumes the principle of induction, which says that observations of general instances allow us to conclude things on particular cases. It's worth noting that you can easily turn any inductive argument into a deductive argument just by slipping the principle of induction in there as a premise. Inductive soundness is where an argument is deductively forceful and its premises are true. This still does not guarantee that the conclusion is true because an inductive argument only raises the likelihood that the conclusion is true rather than guaranteeing it. If the truth of the premises guaranteed the truth of the conclusion then it would be deductive and not inductive. Let's return to my earlier example. If it were true that every bird I've ever seen can fly, then my argument would be inductively sound. Clearly still, the conclusion can be false. Let me briefly explain what abductive arguments are. Abductive arguments are inferences to the best explanation, and as such, they're a kind of inductive argument. A nice example comes from the French philosopher René Descartes, who illustrates that on a rainy day he looked from his balcony and saw the tops of umbrellas. Now, from this he concluded that people were underneath those umbrellas holding them, because that's the best explanation. This is an abductive argument. 